Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be uh, downloading and installing Windows XP mode on the uh, uh, Windows 7 here, and this is for the purpose of running old applications that do not work in um, Windows 7 or do not work in a 64-bit environment, right? Um, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be downloading and installing uh, Windows XP mode. Now uh, this link obviously is going to be in the description and so once I'm here I gotta choose my um, operating system and by the way this will only work with professional Windows 7 professional and above so uh, business enterprise whatever the home starter or the premium home premium whatever starter stuff that won't work right this is only available for um, professional 32 and 64 bit but uh, just professional and above right um, I don't know why they give you the options here maybe they change the rules but I don't know anyways I have uh, Windows 7 professional 64 bit so I'll choose that choose my language English and uh, just click on download I've already downloaded the two but when you click on download you may go through a um, Windows activation authentication process genuine uh, validation thing and uh, just go through that just uh, click on uh, um, OK and it's gonna download and install some validation program and and then just hit refresh here and then you're gonna have to choose again your version and then um, it'll let you download this once you've uh, passed the genuine validation right so um, Windows XP mode I'm gonna install that first and uh, I guess I have to install the following update oh and by the way this um, step 4 here this is only if you do not have uh, Windows 7 service pack 1 I already have Windows 7 service pack 1 so I didn't need to download that but I think what it's doing is that I'm actually downloading that right now which I should have said no but I guess it's reinstalling that particular update right <clears throat> so I'm gonna wait for that to finish and through the magic of editing we are done and it's asking for a restart so I'm gonna go ahead and restart now and we'll be right back okay so now that I've uh, restarted my computer I'm gonna go ahead and install the Windows XP mode and this is a uh, fairly simple process it's uh, also quick so we'll just uh, let this extract. Click on next. Next again. It's going to install a uh, virtual hard disk, a uh, Windows virtual PC. Only it's not as heavy, and uh, the version of Windows uh, you downloaded, um, it's not that heavy either. So we'll click on finish and launch Windows XP mode, accept the terms, click on next. We have to make a password, um, so I'll just call it Johnny the Geek, confirm, right, and uh, remember the credentials so that we don't have to keep logging in. And you can turn on updates, but I'm, I'm going to hold off on that for right now because I just don't want it to install while I'm doing this video so I'll click on next then we gotta start the setup process so uh, this is gonna take a few minutes and uh, I'm gonna pause it right here and uh, we'll come back when it's finished alright so we're back everything's been all set up everything's all said and done um, didn't really take a whole lot. I didn't really have to do anything either. You just have to sit there and wait and let it start up. So I've got this old Firefox 1.0, good old Firefox 1.0, that uh, doesn't work um, in Windows 7. So I'm going to go ahead and install it now into this uh, Windows XP environment. Everything pretty much works just like Windows XP. And we'll sit here and wait and it's done Let's just click on finish and there we go here's our Windows XP 
legacy program of Firefox and uh, it's already in here where is it right there right so uh, that's pretty much how um, Windows XP mode works but it doesn't just stop there what you can actually do is when you close it, it goes into hibernating mode right what you can do is if you go to your program files here in Windows 7 we're in Windows 7 now right and we'll go down to the Windows Virtual PC we'll go to uh, you could start up Windows XP mode and start that thing back up again but check this out under Windows XP mode applications these are the programs that I installed in Windows XP so um, let me just open this right here's the shortcuts to the programs I installed in Windows XP mode and I'll go ahead and copy this I'll just paste this onto my uh, desktop here right so there's our Windows XP mode only program let's go ahead and open that double click starting virtual application and bam there we go this is oh, this is the uh, application that we installed in uh, Windows XP mode but without the Windows XP window or operating system running this is just the app running within its own window on Windows 7 right it blows my mind every time I uh, see this old uh, good old Windows XP blue bar here alright so that's pretty much it hope that helps you all out there uh, if you need to run your old uh, Windows XP mode or Windows XP only programs thanks for watching